guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another C Sharp Crash Course video. This is episode 12, and today we're going to be doing Jagged Arrays, also called Nested Array. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications, and check out my other videos on the eye icon in the top corner. Anyways, let's get on with it. So the Jagged Array is basically a nested array where you can have arrays inside an array, okay? So it, you declare it by having two of these um, array uh, brackets, like that, and declaring them honestly works the same way. You just do jagged equals new float. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. So now we want the size of this array, right? We wanna put two. Unfortunately, C Sharp isn't very friendly with this. You can't define a size of all the arrays. So let's say you want a two by three, right? That's kind of an issue is that you can't just put a number in here to define a two by three array. Instead, However, this is also a good thing, is that we can have different sized arrays inside this array, unlike Java. So that's kind of cool. So in here, you have to define each one. So in here, you can just do a for loop, which I'm not gonna do in here because I'm gonna do a video on that later on. So we just do jagged zero is equal to a new float. Um, Let's say we want this to be a size three instead. We even, we're gonna change it up. And jagged, however, so remember all of this stuff is gonna be zero. So it'll look like this, zero, zero, zero. So it's just an empty three array, index is zero, one, two. And for our second one, our second index, it'll be a new, um, since I'm gonna put floats in here, I'm not gonna write down float. I'm just gonna put down the, array here and define some predefined stuff. So we're gonna do 1.07 F for float. Yes, F is float without the F, it's a double. And then we're gonna put 2.04 F for our second, like this. So now if we write out our array in a box, so we have index zero, it's a three, it's a size three array. We have zero, index zero, one, two. And here we have everything from that array, which is gonna be zero, zero, zero. And now for a second one, we expand this, and now it's a, to a size two array. And in here, we put our stuff in here. 1.07 and 2.04, like this. And also this is index one, okay? So the access, for example, 1.07, we just do jagged, again, this is just the name, okay? Jagged at index zero, that's this right here. This is the first one, and then here. No, actually, this is one, right? <laughs> so this is one, and then the second one is zero, okay? And this will be, this will equal 1.07, okay? If this was a one, it would be 2.04. Now, if you try two, this doesn't exist, right? You'll get a um, out of bounds error, index is out of bounds, okay? Now, the difference between Java and C Sharp is that you can't do this, okay? You'd have to put another variable in here because basically it's just a 3D array. Java is like is just always going to be a square or rectangle, while in C sharp, it's very handy. You could do it like this because maybe you don't need this right here, right? Anyways, I think that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and this makes sense. Comment down below if you have any questions, any suggestions. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications if you're new. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Peace.